Hey guys, Rick Shaw. It's the uh, 12th of October, and we stopped on the way home and got us a little uh, sausage McMuffin with egg for the kids. Uh, we, we stayed at our buddy, uh, buddy Onat's house. Again, it's two weekends in a row, and uh, got late, and we just crashed out over there. The kids like it because they have air conditioning in, the, in their bedroom. And so they were in there sleeping with them, and they liked the, the kids liked the air condition. But something that really ticked me off uh, about this Sony camera. Now, when we when we first got over there, we parked the car down down the hill away. So we we walk up there, and I turned the camera on. The red light was on in the back, and I was taking film because this is where my wife came from. I, we went. I was walking up through the neighborhood, talking about the store, and and you know. The people that lived there and where old guy Joseph played and and uh, the different stores and then my wife's little house that she lived in and uh, you know went, went on about what was going on and then we had uh, we had some real nice uh, pictures with Onan and they, you know got everybody some rickshaw glasses I got a big pile of them came in so we got them some rickshaw glasses and stuff and, and I wanted to put all that together and make a video out of that and when I went to load all that stuff in from this camera it had a few seconds of the beginning of it and it shut itself off. You know, and I can't see when, it, when I'm aiming the camera, I wasn't looking at the light. Uh, why it started doing this, I don't know, but I'm, I'm really getting fed up uh, with it. You know, I turn it around, you know, you look at a beautiful day, I can see the red light on the back. Uh, it's, it's working fine right now, but why did it do that when I was over there getting, getting some really good footage of, uh, you know, where, where I stayed when, when my wife and I first got together? Uh, she, had a, she did have a real cool little house. I could actually uh, put my arms out and I could touch the wall on the left and the wall on the right. And that's how narrow it was. Had a little teeny tiny living room and kitchen bathroom on there and then it had little narrow stairways that went up to like a bedroom and a, and a changing room that she had. And it was a wood floor. I remember the first time I went up there it was bouncing up and down <laughs> the floor. It was really something. But. Um, yeah, I wanted to get that. I'll try to get that again uh, down the road because it's interesting. I'd even just like to have it on my videos to to keep because we're going to be moving out of this area pretty soon. And uh, we will come back to visit for sure uh, to visit our friends and stuff. But but uh, it won't be like we'll be able to go over there anytime we want anymore. And, uh, that was you know, that was where we first met and uh, loved the folks over there. We stopped. We we had a. Uh, our friend uh, Ronald and Crispy that we stay with, uh, Onad, kids call him Uncle Onad, uh, they have a neighbor that's, they're basically staying in a place that, uh, it's not as big as a single car garage. Uh, it's probably five feet uh, from front to back and 10, 10, 12 feet long tops and there's a whole family of four kids and husband and wife staying there and so they don't have any money. You know, they're really down on their luck. Uh, when I was there last week, uh, you know, we were buying the kids food because uh, Ronald and Crispy, their boy runs a little thing where he cooks food and sells it, and they got a little Sorry Sorry store. And um, we were buying the kids stuff to eat, and they're, they are skinny, these poor little guys. And uh, I gave the mom some, some money you know, so they could get something to eat. Well... <clears throat> she bought smokes and pop with the money. So this time we went over there. They, uh, we gathered up a bunch of the kids' uh, clothes. Uh, a lot of the clothes they had, we were going to give. We were going to give them to her sister and Mandora. But but uh, these kids are <coughs> were going around with no clothes. I mean, they they had like one outfit. And if it's dirty, they didn't have nothing. So and we had stuff from when you know Momo was little. Because there's all different sizes of these kids. So. We saw them all yesterday. They were they were all had their brand new clothes on. They were real happy, and uh, they got them a big old sack of rice uh, that they could cook and eat. And I said, next time we come, uh, they don't have a refrigerator or anything, but we'll get them a big old sack of hot dogs. They got them ones down at uh, Jolly Mart, and I think there's 16 of them in the pack. And you don't have to; those don't have to stay in the fridge. You, know, you don't have to keep a hot dog in the fridge. They're like they're like cold cuts, so. I think we're going to get that, and bring that down to them. But uh, you know, it's just—it's it, tough. It's—it's it's real tough on a lot of folks uh, around 
here, uh, people don't realize, and you know, there's there's actually people dying of starvation. They're getting so skinny. These kids, they're the one kid I, I asked, I looked at him, I thought he was six, six or seven, like that. Figured he was a little older than Matt. He asked him how old he was. He was 12. Skinny as a rail. I mean, these kids, it, it's it's years and years of, of uh, malnutrition that happens here, and, and it, it just uh, breaks your heart. It, it, it's choking me up now. It's unbelievable that it can be like this in this world today, in 2020. And it's happening, guys. It's happening all over. And, and uh, We want to do what we can do. I had a thing on there yesterday that didn't record, but I was talking. There's, there are some good groups here that are helping out. Some, some uh, American guys. I'm seeing them on Facebook and stuff, and they're, they're helping out. But I'm, I was never one to give to anything like that. Uh, what I like to do is personally see them. It's like in my country, the d dumbest thing they ever did is just give welfare. It's, they, they just create more of it. The people don't really need it. And uh, the best thing that I always said would be let let the money go to the churches and the church hand it out as they see somebody in need. You know, so I went to a little church for many years, and uh, we knew people that were in, you know, dire straits. We're having trouble uh, making ends meet. And we used to bring everybody would pool together and go out and buy a bunch of groceries and bring them over there once a week until they got back on their feet. And uh, I knew I told the the husband he was out of work. I said, "Why don't you come down and uh, work with us?" Uh, you know, there's there's work to do. I don't know anything about it. <laughs> well, we'll train you. I didn't know anything about it my first day either. And he come down, and he's an electrician now. He's been an electrician for years. They're doing really well. Uh, he still goes to the same church, and he's giving back now. Now he's, you know, it's uh, paid forward. Now he's going and 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 paying uh, to buy help people out that are in trouble. It shouldn't be it shouldn't be a big governmental thing, but but here I like to, you know, if we can do little bits for for that family. I want to. I mean, I, I, it's uh, it's it, something about it. You know, I saw those little kids running around and so happy with their the clothes. <laughs> yeah. uh, I just felt better. Uh, I felt a lot better. That's how it goes. And these these fellas, these my little rickshaws here, they're all doing very well. We're we're blessed by the good Lord above for sure. And uh, I, I hope we could always be able to help. Just want to want to do that. So, but this is Rick Shaw. Uh, don't forget to uh, pray for each other. Uh, pray for our leaders. Uh, yeah. Why well, don't got the funny muff here? Oh, I'm just using the muff because it's not that loud today. When it's loud, I have to put that on. What? The the muff. But now I'm just using the the microphone on the camera. But that's my beautiful Mr. Handsome, huh? <laughs> Bart Simpson. All right, guys. Like I say, don't forget to pray for each other. And uh, God bless y'all. Rick Shaw out.